Okay, an update on crypto here on the afternoon of February 16th, 2022. It is a pivotal time because we clearly have started a new cycle is what I would argue. And so if we're rolling over now, we could be looking at a lot of downside in terms of time because we're pretty early in this new cycle. Like if you're looking at this screen here, these are all the crypto, these are maybe you know, half of the sort of tokens I track. Um, and you can see many of them have made a sort of similar pattern. You have this low here, excuse me, this low here, it's all pretty much around the same. You can kind of see as you're, as you do this more, you start to, it should become more clear to you. You should, you can see these swing lows, right? Like they should be pretty, they should all stand out to you. So you can see they're all pretty early in their rallies. And this also shows you just in this ether rally has been pretty strong compared to this Luna rally, which, you know, kind of it's it's it looks a lot less healthy. Right. But this is an important kind of decision time. Right. So look, at, if you look, think about this structure, broadly speaking, right, we made a higher high, we went made a high. We made a higher low. So this low is higher than this low here. And then we made another higher high this would be your higher low this being lower than this or higher than this excuse me a low that's higher than this low and more important and equally important we stopped sort of where we needed to because this was your last high and so we stopped right above the last high as well that's important in terms of you know the the strength or uh, the health of the actual structure so notice what we would expect now is to hope continue higher then make another higher low but you can see all the cryptos aren't behaving the same so on this current day ether is red but it has a nice lower wick which again a lower wick means a rally on a lower time frame uh, upper wick means a pullback on a lower time frame so we've been rallying since we had you know this candle was much more red earlier in the day and you can see that's the case for a lot of these solana um, Polygon, uh, which is the Matic token, near similar story. But interestingly, some of these are green. So look at HBR. This is Hadira Hashgraph. This is actually a green hammer now. So that's looking promising. Avalanche, AVAX never really went that green, red in, to begin with, it seems. You know, like it's it's got an upper wick, which means we're seeing a pullback in a lower time frame. But I would say as you're looking at all of these, AVAX is actually the strongest. Look at the, the like just in terms of the actual structure, you have your high, your higher low, your high, your higher low. Now you're making another high, right? So you would expect maybe we continue up a little bit and then make another low. Again, we'd want to see that that low holds above this low, right? Like that's the that's the idea. In, a, in the healthiest of trends, the higher low holds above the previous high as well because you've covered enough distance, right? So we hope for Ether to go up like this or something and then come down and, and hopefully hold this level. Obviously, nothing is ever perfect in terms of trend. And so if we focus on Ether and Bitcoin for a second and look at where they are in their respective cycles, uh, Ether had a top on day 23, on day 17. Today is day 13. And you can notice this nice big green candle really covered a lot of distance right it took out this down it took out you know this uh sort of bearish candle and almost got you up here and so what you would hope for you know we're like down to about a couple of hours before the close today you'd hope for you know this rally on a lower time frame to continue and then the next day to take you up above that 3284, which again would also be a new monthly high. So a powerful signal. So we're looking okay here. And also notice we dipped, you know, kind of touched below the 10 day moving average and now we're above it again. So that's definitely positive. Again, it's day 23. We would expect if it's a bullish cycle that we would not get our high until after day 40, which means, you know, I mean, we're cutting it close now, right? But like, we should still have around 20 days of upside. What you'd be looking out for 
is if we can't make a high above 3284, if we come or maybe make a slightly higher high, maybe even like 3300, and then we see some strong momentum, like some big red candles like these, or I mean, look at this monster. What we need to see now more than anything actually are big green candles. Green can big green candles like this one. Like this one, right? Like this one. These are signals that the buyers have come in and they literally cover more distance to continue the trend higher. And that's what we want to see to confirm that we are in a bullish daily cycle and possibly that we, we, you know, we've started a new weekly cycle as well. And looking at Bitcoin really quickly on the daily chart as well, same deal in terms of cycle count. Day 23 is our, uh, uh, we're on day 23. Day 24 starts in just a couple of hours. Our high was day 17. Again, here we would expect a high, you know, after day 40. You see in this nice bullish cycle, we had our high on day 49, right? You know, in this bullish cycle, we had our high on day 50, high on day 43. So like we, that's a, that's, that's in a, you know, a, a positive scenario. We could have, you know, this bearish cycle had a high on day 27. This one had a high on day 20. So we're, we're, we're now needing to watch again, very similar, like pretty much the same picture for all the cryptos. Are they going to make a double top and then come back down? Cause your signal, if this thing gets to here and can't clear it, start and we start to see strong momentum down big red candles like this, that's your sign that we're probably going to make a new low, right? We're probably going to make a new low below this. This is going to be a, a failed daily cycle. And uh, left translated data cycle, which means, you know, if the cycle is around 60 days, as it usually is, if our top was day 17, that means we would spend more than 40 days declining. Now, obviously here, this would just be essentially a back test of this high, a, a failed back test, that is. Well, I guess technically it'd be a successful back test to the downside, right? It depends on how you look at it. But this, the, these are the levels and you can look at any crypto chart for any crypto asset it looks very similar. It needs to it needs to avoid a sort of double top scenario where there's possibly a lot more downside. But it's very promising what like the you know the the um the way we've seen the buyers come in. Like I'll zoom into the hourly chart, for instance. I think you can see like these big big green candles, these are buyers coming in, right? In a bearish trend. You have huge red candles and then these tiny little green candles, these reluctant bounces. What we want to see is the opposite. Like, look at this. Like, I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll zoom in. I mean, look at this candle on the hourly time frame. Look at this green, beautiful, big green candle. And look at these tiny little red candles, these little reluctant candles. Obviously, you'll have these little sprints, too. You, you'll need a mix of different kinds of candles. But if you look closely you you need these larger ones so like this one for instance took us from around 2685 to 2783 right so almost a hundred dollar move in the span of an hour and i think that's the way to sort of think about it right like this allows us to cover distance from you know low to high and so the, the bigger the candle, the more potential distance we're covering. So like being able to cover $100 in one candle is great, but better to be able to cover $200. And the lower the time frame, the better to some degree, because it shows decisiveness, right? They came in and bought all this stuff up in this one hour, right? And then the decline was just, it was, has, it was just profit taking, right? You have people selling, not huge selling pressure, not these ginormous, red candles like you know this one right here followed by this one so that's what you want to watch for to see that we're seeing a, a, a change in character um, which we potentially have here um, we just need to hold this higher low so far we have a higher low that we need to hold and equally important we have to make a higher high otherwise we're we're sort of in no man's land i guess that's another scenario that could unfold where we find ourselves in some kind of range but I mean, we'll have to see how the price action develops.